Are you fucking kidding? I <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. Uh. 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 Yeah, you see how it's working out for me? <laughs> I'm just gonna like. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna use rage anytime we go into battle now, because I've been on. trying to save it for like. Oh, oh sorry, someone <clears> clicked <throat> on bed. I just thought to myself, if you do want to start talking to a star, and do you want to star that now? Because you might have a couple of dialogues to catch up on, but you might have to do a long rest in between each one. Oh, okay. so I think it's stuff. Yeah. That, I think what how it seems to work is that when someone starts talking to the companion for the first time, they get the same dialogue that other people have already had, but you can just kind of. Skip through it, but it means that you catch up, sort of thing. I don't judge okay, I'm in dialogue. Bard, this is new dialogue. <laughs> yeah, this is new dialogue. Was priceless. I didn't do it, I swear. Something strange is happening to me. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. I like how he's totally good with you trying to blame it on him, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is stuff that we've all had before. So if you want to skip through it, you can. Or if you want to, like, fully do it, that's fine, too. But I think basically this is, like, dialogue one or dialogue two or whatever. And you need to get to, like, dialogue four before you're getting to new stuff sort of thing. All right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just skip through. All right. Then I'll just stop listening in. Yep. I want to. I'll see if Shadowheart is something you can say. Hello. Like every single time. Stop talking I mean, to Lazel, to Tommy. To yeah. I'm not talking to Lazel. Watching Alex's conversation. Mm, I just saw you in a dialogue option and made assumptions and just stood next to her. <laughs> Does um, do you have a dialogue option for Lazel where you can ask her what do you think about me, or is that just a Shadowheart thing? That's just a Shadowheart. Just Shadowheart. Everyone knows that they're just simping for Shadowheart, man. They already knew. God damn. Not everyone knows that you're sh uh, sh sh that you're shadow shimping for. <laughs> I, I am <laughs> that, that can be a turn now, yep. Hey. Hey, Samo. Check this out. Hey. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at, no, look at me. Look me in the face. I mean, you're turned around? Yeah, so look okay. me in the face. I said... Look me in the face. <laughs> and then you grabbed me and launched me. You know what? I'm next to my. Oh god! I was gonna say I'm next to my bed. I'll just stay here. Well, bedtime, oh. boys. I can still see you. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be working, does it? Oh, there Maybe we go. Not in <laughs> oh, oh. I wonder where he is. Uh, There's bullshit that you can target me while I'm invisible. I wonder whether I'm still going to be invisible during the cutscene. Ah, oh, nah. <laughs> be really funny if it was just all four of us in bed, but I'm just invisible. <laughs> this is just bullying. Uh, nah, it's uh, it's roughhousing. It's fine. We kill right. each other because we love each other. Well, I kill Alex and Samo because I love them. <laughs> I kill you because you're going after my girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, a book and a mushroom. I'm gonna. Wait, is this a book? Yeah, blood smeared logbook. Alleged detailing the appearance and quality of numerous gemstones that have been mixed that have been mined from rock. Weight, color, clarity, and more are noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlined entry for a sizable rudin. An underlined entry for a sizable ruby is written in shaky, excited quill strokes. 
Yo, that was my fucking line. Who said that? Bro, just stealing my fucking lines. <laughs> yeah, I heard that la like last night. We mm -hmm. went to bed. I'm like, damn, that was such a sick line. Let me just. Yeah, <laughs> like, if I like, say that, everyone's gonna think I'm so cool and smart. So. Yeah. Oh hey, a citrus stone. <clears throat> Let's go to the boat. Uh, I think we should probably leave this for now, honestly. No, we're still looking for the night song or whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, what? What is? Does do we not have a quest marker for the night? No, because it's the, the trail's gone cold, so we're just exploring the other dark, trying to find ah, it. Right. I mean, there's a way up here as well. Okay, do we want to head to the other side of this lake? Sure, we might as well. Now we're up here. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Why is it Tommy at the front? He was the one furthest away from it. <laughs> He's the main character. Yeah, but why is he the main <laughs> character? Side. Alex is the host. It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I thought I sailed away without you guys then. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good. Never to return. <laughs> Lazy I was left alone. Yeah, and if she did actually like him, then maybe I could come for her now that she's missing him. Also, Alex is sitting on the boat, but for me, he's like halfway inside the boat. <laughs> oh, that, that's me for myself. No, you're yeah. sat on the boat for me. Uh-oh. You're gonna have an option here, Tom, and I hope you pick it. Okay. Oh my god. Did you just call me human? No, he said tiefling. Ah. He said human for me. Weird. Where's Gek? Who are you? The option. <laughs> he called you human. <laughs> he did call me human. Oh no. It's not doing it for me. Oh, it's not showing me the roll. I'm assuming you just failed, didn't you? That one. Oh. I really hope he shoves you into the water. <laughs> It'd be nice if there were some special like uh, results for nat ones every now and again. Yeah. Oh, my fucking initiative. Jesus. On. It's cool that this is like a moving map though, as where like like the boats are actually moving sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna jump over yet. I think I could <laughs> make it, but I feel like first turn of initiative rogue. Actually no, I've got a hell of a good uh uh AC nowadays though, so can I make it anywhere? I cannot actually jump across. Can I get any like close to the edge of the boat? I just can throw you. You probably could <laughs> throw me. Uh, yeah, I can make oh, it across. Alex, it's, pix it's pixel drink the, the potion again. Oh, oh well. I'll uh, I'll do it after this. Yeah. I think because I think I might be able to throw them without anyway. Oh, but... oh there we yeah, go. that might be true. Yeah. Do you have a Strength of 19, or did you take a feat? I took a feat. Ah. Took mobile. There we go. Right. I've, I've the, got the I've highest the AC, so fuck it. Uh, I'm being bold. And it's, and it's totally working out. You see how it's working out for me? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also didn't quick save. <coughs> um, so we're just gonna have to res, I'm afraid. I can't see the turn order, so people are gonna have to tell me whose turn it is as well. But oh, <laughs> that could not have been better timing. Turn. <laughs> I mean, I was being sarcastic to begin with. But <laughs> <laughs> the AI man, legends. Oh.
Oh, shit. I love <laughs> this game. Legitimately, when I thought about jumping across, I was just like, I've got a pretty high AC, so I might be able to be okay with it, rather than what I was going to do was wait until everyone else jumped across, since I'm a rogue. Yeah. And then I, then I was like, but you know, it'll be fine. Like, they might hit me a couple of times. Never once thought about them shoving me off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that oh. far. Damn, oh, critical yeah. miss still did 16 damage to you? What the fuck? Hey. It said oh, actually, for me, but I think it got half because of the critical miss. That makes sense. Oh, right. Hmm. From Herc. Oh, right. Trying to madness. <laughs> Nice. Hopefully when it comes back around to the beginning of turn order, I'll be able to see whose turn it is, because right now I have no fucking clue. Tom's now. This is Tommy's turn. Tom, you know what to do. Yeah, I do know what to do. Nice. Bye. Hey, achievement! <laughs> see, one of these guys give almost 80 XP. That's... that's good. That's good XP. I can't actually jump over now, though. Why? Real quick, though. Why can't our characters swim? Don't know. I Me? Like, I should have just second. been left behind. I should just be, like, watching myself in the water, just, like, doggy paddling. I mean, they, they did especially say what kind of creatures lure in these waters, so maybe that's kind it of... It would have been cool to see a cutscene of just, like, me just dog paddling and then just, like, something grabbing me from underneath. That would have... But at the same time, it was fucking funny just to see me disappear into the water, so... Yeah, 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 true. <laughs> Yo, he knocked you out of your poor performance with his jump. That son of a bitch! So never good, no? Also, just noticed that that guy critical missed you and you laughed at him in character. <laughs> oh, no. They are too heavy to throw, actually. Uh, oh, well. Probably also because of all the armor and stuff. That might add weight as well. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm really confused. Oh! Oh, okay. Apparently if you uh, try and like throw something into the water, like a weapon or something, or if it goes into the water, comes up and just says death. <laughs> mm. Hmm. So we've already been live for an hour and a half. This Dang is why. Damn. This is why, in a weird way, the twenty-four hours wasn't actually that tough. Is that like? Yeah, no. It feels like fifteen minutes, sort of thing. Yeah. Again, game is very fucking fun. Oh, brilliant game. Pretty sure I'm gonna be too heavy for them to shove. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if that's famous last words as well. <laughs> I mean, I that should have from... raged. <laughs> God, if they shove you, I'm gonna be so fucking happy. I'm I'm probably just gonna die next turn anyway. Ah, oh, I didn't notice your health. Yeah. What the fuck? Elephant power? Hey 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 hey. Target's too far. Well. Oh, it's gone then. Hey, remember oh, well. how we were supposed to have some of those? No, I don't. Mm. I've got one. Yeah, it must be nice. I haven't used it yet. You know what? I'm one of the homies. I'll help you, bud. Thank you. Well, that was Lol. a stupid idea. Lol. Oh. <laughs> oh. But they can, they can try though. It's just hard. Like for me, it's just like says too heavy and I can't even try. Yeah, it's just difficult. Mm, fuck. Okay. Le okay. Just le le let's just quickly analyze what happened. They did four attacks in total. How many times did I get attacked? 
Samo, you've done shitloads of damage to them. Of course they're gonna fucking target you. Nice. <laughs> Still! Also, you didn't jump across to another boat and immediately just get shoved off by some dude, so why are you complaining? So how did they recognize this was a certain dude's boat? It looks exactly the same as theirs, except for this one has a banner on it. I didn't even see that guy there. And my pike did not... Oh, there we go. Now their boat's different. Yeah, their boat's different. Why did they recognize our boat as being one of their friends? Like, there's nothing, like, unique looking about it compared to theirs. Maybe because it has, like, two boats, basically? Like, theirs is a larger boat, sure. It's got some symbols on the flags, which ours doesn't. And it has a flag. Ooh, I'm just ooh. like, ooh, what, what's special about ours? Why did he reduce himself? <laughs> oh, does it make you harder to hit? Oh, I mean, he's Dude. just... Ammo class has increased by five. I have a feeling if I try to shove him while he's up here... He might land on the other sh ship. Oh, no, he won't. I'm just going to do it. Nice. But it cancelled Tommy's poor performance getting splashed in the face by water. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Did you also just kick him? I think you kicked him. Yeah. Yeah, I think sick. I kicked him. Oh, and that was a bonus action as well. I'll let Tom go first, though. No, it's the alchemist. Don't throw him off. We need his, we need his plants. <laughs> you want his... Yeah, okay. I mean, only if you'll actually survive. Otherwise, just do whatever. It'll be fine. I mean, M Mind Master Kettle's nearly dead, so... I'm just gonna finish this one off then, Tom. Yeah. Nice. It hit Tommy as well. What? Nice. Ow! <laughs> because it did an area effect attack and like knocked him back. It does an area of effect. It did then. Like there was a little I'm... explosion when it landed. I don't even know how it like does stuff like that because it doesn't say on the actual pike that it does that. Maybe it was just like the height difference or something. I think that's what the, the second instant of the damage is always. Also, yeah, uh... maybe that is. Man, Can you help me? good thing that our Thank boat's you. just not like veering yeah. off to the right or anything and heading anything, huh? Yep. <laughs> Convenient. Yeah. Also, uh, Mind Master Kettle's just like flopped over the stairs, but like literally her toe is touching the stairs, if that. <laughs> One hit point, nice, nice, nice. Class classic. Classic situation where you, you knock that someone down to one hit point but don't kill them. Yeah. Well, nothing else to do now except. <laughs> but stand in the way. <laughs> like, you're, like, if they were to range attack him, I know obviously, like, stat wise, it makes no difference, but if they were, realistically, you're just, like, fully body blocking him while playing the loot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, what? Hey, you, you uh -uh. saw him. So it's it's a saving throw to see him with your uh your eye. It just said saving throw scene. Oh yeah, I've got the eye again now. Cool. Yeah, they have to roll a uh, dexterity save. I 
I'm assuming it's the bad guy's turn, but for me, you're all just like standing there doing nothing because yeah. I still can't see the turn order. No, it's oh, our turn. Yeah, okay. It's turn. <laughs> I'm just looking at my inventory, see if I have anything to throw to uh, catch him because I, I don't know where he is. I get that this game is, you know, mostly serious, but, well, like a mixture, but like, you know. But it would be funny if uh, when you get pushed off a ledge and die, rather than it just being like your soul appearing there, it would just say like, character's name was here, so it just says Ken was here on the ship. Ken was here. <laughs> mm. You know what's nice though about being shoved off into the ocean or well, into a lake where none of uh, none of you can like easily get to me. Oh. No looting my body. We can <clears throat> we can loot it. Yeah, we can still loot you. What? It's bullshit. I don't physically exist anymore. I don't think we well, can loot your soul. You put all of your items into your soul. Nah, that's that bullshit. That's what soul bound uh, soul bound means. Yeah, but I didn't bind anything to my soul. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you just like pot shotting. Yeah, basically. <laughs> if it does do an AoE, I might as well try and hit him. Completely fair. Oh. Something updated. That was weird. I still don't have a turn order, but. Oh, he's still there. You fucker! Yeah, fuck Get him. you bitch! Bastard. Where's his corpse? Hey, can I be brought back to life, please? Can someone <clears throat> evanescence me? Sure. Nice luck you got here, man. I don't, I don't actually have... I'm watching the combat tracker, Tommy. <clears throat> Necronomicon, huh? I mean, you can try and read it if you want. You'll probably no, I'm not. good. Yeah, I was gonna say. You want those curses? Also, I like how we're all calling it the Necronomicon. It's not called the Necronomicon. Uh. <laughs> it looks like the Necronomicon, and the word is close to Necronomicon, but it's something like the Necron. Uh, and the Necromancy, if they. Yeah, d just the Necromancy. <laughs> uh, I don't have a scroll anymore, so. I do, let me send one, unless someone... Oh, I'll, I'll just someone. pick it up. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh, interesting. The rudder appears to be a thing you can actually interact with. Yeah, that's how we continue. Ah, okay. But there's stuff to loot. Has anyone looted the watertight chest yet? Uh, yeah, yes. It's empty. Okay. Um, Anything at the back of the ship? No. I assume after Ken is back, we'll do a double short rest. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of curious. I imagine it's probably nothing, but I'm kind of curious what a long rest would be if we do it on the boat. Like, are we just resting it's on the boat? It's probably still the cave. Yeah, that's probably what it is, but... Yeah. So... Are you still looking for the scroll, Tom? Yeah. It's... Let me just send it to you, then, if you're looking for it. Yeah, if, if you can send, yeah, send it before I find it, go for it. Oh, I can't actually send it to you while I'm dead. Um, Just... If you're clicking on me, Tommy, you should be to search, I imagine. No. There's not a search oh, bar when you're looting. Um, not when you're looting. I've got a single no. one. It's like a double like scroll with the wooden bits either side. It's glowing gold. But it's, it's in the middle gold. of all the scrolls. It's in between them. Ah, yeah. Wake me up! Yeah, Wake, Wake me, me up inside! Uh, better than I'm gonna feel that one later. Guys, you're never gonna believe what's at the bottom of the lake. It's like just a bunch of hot mermaids. I was having the best time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> didn't die a cold death embraced by tentacles. <laughs> Do you wanna quick save? <laughs> uh, just quick save when we're on the other side, I guess. You guys ready? Uh -oh. 
I mean, yep. we can quick save in case mm -hmm. it breaks while we're transitioning to the other side, I suppose. The craft is ready to sail. The craft is ready to sail. Yeah, real good thing that our boat didn't just veer off and hit a rock while no one was on it controlling it. Yep. <laughs> it just stayed well, perfectly, perfectly yeah. next to the other one, both of them just going in a straight line, not hitting anything on the way there. That would have made for a cool fight. Yeah, like after two turns we hit a rock and one just falls off. Yeah, someone's got to get back on and steer it every now and then. Yo, is this this drow forge we read about? Uh, it's nearby. Samo's tail just going through the wood. Sure, I'm eating my beard as well. That is usual. You know how some girls with long hair, they like start chewing on their hair or like yeah, just yeah, like yeah. playing around with it? That's what I'm doing with my beard. Tommy's character's like doing this, but he's like covering his face from the embers from the torch that's right next to his face. Just stand away from the torch, man. Ooh. Why is it Tom again? And also, <laughs> why am I not hearing any of the dialogue? Yeah, I'm not either. Hmm. Just let me through. I'm not looking for trouble. That right. There we go. And just what do you feel the slightest of stirrings in your head? The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Mm. I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rock fall. Trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I like her insults. Yeah, I do. Did you say you keep slaves here? Deep gnomes, mostly. Easy to feed. Fat thumbs for digging. That's a problem for you. I've got no use for slavers, including you. You'll work through it, Jark. No pay up. Don't got all day. Oh, okay. I'm not giving you a single coin. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. What a pussy. <laughs> that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Alright, well. Who did you just call cult fuckers? Us. I just, I wanted to move back. I, I looted on accident. Well, hold on. Are we touching these people inappropriately, or? I mean, I was awful gutting them, but Tommy chose not to. Yeah, I, 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 I was mean to them. I expected them to just start attacking me. Okay, so now that it's uh been called a tingle whenever something happens to pete's characters we are going to be referring to it as the peter tingle right peter tingle yeah yep. what, and what happens what well, i'm confused the uh, with the uh tadpole psionic stuff the oh. peter tingle okay yeah this is grimforge Oh, I just felt his. Oh. What was she doing here? 
Well, she left a note. Let me read it. Jam, like a phoenix from the ashes, <coughs> Grimforge has risen from the dead. I have word of a drow cultist gathering Durga in the old city's halls. That the absolute means to recruit them, I've no doubt. It is what they might seek amidst the ruins that most troubles me. You've not failed me yet. Go to Grimforge, cling to the shadow, and bring word of the cult's intentions to last night. I will be waiting. Jay. Could I try and speak to those spiders? Yes, also, do you want me to try and speak to this dead harper agent? Yeah, after the spiders, what's it? Yeah. Sounds yep. good. You weren't forgetting that I can speak with the dead now because of my eldritch knowledge that I unlocked. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no love. No spider queen. Father Murmur is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. I'm watching Samo's face like a fucking orc. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is okay. Okay. Because they, 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 they speak normally. Oh, okay. It's, that they have humanized you. It's it's okay. Spiders for the Spider Queen. Seems logical. But it goes beyond logic. Do you not feel it, brothers? The pull for something more. Do you not see it, friend visitor? Their unfulfilled potential. See? Call us friends. You sense very little from the shifting trio. Oh, only when they speak spider. That's racist, Samo, Callum says. Um. Well, it's... If a spider would start barking, I would still be scared of them. Uh, by the way, Callum, if you do want to join the Discord, we're still set up for that, so you're welcome to hop on. Mm, what do you guys reckon? Deception or perception? Or persuasion, sorry. I'm, uh, I don't have any uh, bonus in either of them. I would prefer persuasion, but I think deception would be more your character. Yeah, whatever you think is most your character. I mean, I'm a wild heart barbarian in oh, touch true. with nature, so... That is true. I think your sister is right. Among the Spider Queen's worshippers, you'll reach your true potential. Here we go. Clean 50-50. Yep. Nice. Hey. <laughs> My bike could be stronger. My venom more devastating. Xanta, is it so? This and so much more. In Lull's hairy embrace, all is possible. Samo's face in that point. <laughs> we follow. I do not need a hairy spider embrace. Yes. Thanks. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. You don't want Lull's hairy embrace? Oh, oh well, that's fast. Ooh, 160 XP. Let's yeah, go. that is very nice. nice. I really like how it does reward you for like dialogue stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. There's also a dead body here. Another executed drow. <gasps> Look at. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Did not realize that someone could right. see us. Whoopsie. Well. Mm, sorry. Math. Sorry, folks. I think it's only that one guy, so we might just be yeah. able to kill him. As long as he doesn't yeah. call reinforcements. Yeah, have to finish him off quickly. Shouldn't be an issue with that damage. Uh, that's what I can do, turn, though. though. Oh, he does go next. Oh, he running. Ah, oh, nice. You can do that even if it's not you who's been targeted by it. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm instead. Right. 
while it's your guys' turn, I'm going to very quickly grab a drink. Yep, you can do it. Shut it up. Oh. Good thing you got another one. Yeet. What? <laughs> What's his AC? Only 15. This is like nothing crazy. Jesus. Damn. I guess the Perfect good spider time. roll kind of. I am ensnared. Thou art indeed. Nice. Didn't matter though. No, any good gnome joke. Yeah, let me go back and loot that drow I was gonna loot earlier. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go and talk to the first one who is the Harper agent. Yeah. Uh, I need to remember how to do this. There we go. I just got a rare arrow. Rare arrow. I just realized have damage to three other targets. my character yeah, also like kind of team. looks like comic book yeah, Oliver Queen. Say. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So, it didn't seem to be just free questions before, but it is limited questions, it looks like. So, what should we do? Um, there are seven options in total, and not including leave. I would say who killed you, maybe? I think, I think we can probably maybe, work that one out from context, but... I think, yeah, what were you doing here? Where are you from? Yeah, okay. And maybe, maybe after those two, maybe who are you? Because he might just give, like... You know, we know he's a dead Harper agent, but we don't know who he is exactly. Also, might why tell are you valuable? That's also I looted them already, so. <laughs> I mean, maybe, like, right. somewhere. What were you doing here? Cultists, threat to Baldur's Gate. Jahira's orbs. Where are you from? Last light. Who are you? Zahum, Harper Scout. So, do we want to do what happened to you? Who killed you? What is your profession or where are your valuables? Sorry. Let's say what happened. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. What happened to you? God, interrogate me. Well, we can keep what? going, so. Who killed you? Yeah. Who killed you? Yeah, there we go. So I think five it's questions. five questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I can technically keep doing that till a long rest. If we wanted to talk to the other two dead drow, I could do that. But that that was the only one who had like an interesting plot hook was the Harper agent with a note. So I'm totally fine with skipping the other two if you want us to. Yeah. Uh, I do want to explore a little bit more over this way before we go up those stairs, though. Yep. Ooh, a metal door, but there's some people over here. Do we want to talk to these people? Yeah. Oh, a bunch of dead bodies. All right. Um. Oh, all deep gnomes. Let's show here to kick some stiff these things, monsters. Like. You bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're checking them for the first. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. This is why Shadowheart doesn't like you. She doesn't know about this side of me. I mean, I think they do know the sort of stuff we get off on to while we're away from camp, to be fair. Because otherwise they just never know anything about us because we don't spend any time at camp. Oh well. I'll inspect the corpses. Oh, well that didn't work. You got inspiration.
Don't go, kid. Lend a hand or get gone. <laughs> These guys have to die, right? I think so. <laughs> I mean, How about the racist, the... First? the racist, genocidal slavers. Oh. Like. <laughs> what are you sneaking around? Are they approaching with both daggers? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, it's, um, we'll it's, uh, out here. Anyone... A shadow. no, I can't get into stuff. Fuck it. Here we go. Three, two, wait, well, you're going to just toss a body into the lake, man. What? What's that thing in? All right. Ready to attack? Yep. <laughs> yep. Three, two, one, click. Oh no, I thought that was them attacking you. <laughs> it was like, love that you just stab him. Alex throws something and I thought they just both turned around and shot that. Sam I didn't just, I didn't just throw something. I threw one a corpse at someone. Nice. I think that did extra damage as well because of my gloves. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's an improvised throwing weapon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that turns. Damn. Ooh. Damn. Hey, that's illegal. That yeah, you don't know how to do that. Oh. Nice. Yeah. That weapon Samo gave me do be doing the work. I do miss my drow longsword though. But... Why? I can click oh, if you, you want to focus on with more health. Concentrated. <laughs> oh, I can, um... Okay. Look, bro, I know there was already a lot of blood on the floor, but look how much blood is here right now. <laughs> God damn. One thing to note, I don't know if this makes a massive amount of difference when it comes to flanking, whether like the person to get advantages behind or whatever, but I do have stealth attack when I have people who are, I'm at advantage with, Tommy. Okay. I, I'm not sure if I don't, I don't positioning know. actually affects it at all, because I've never got anything from it. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's actually advantage. And when I've like played as a Starian or anything, I think the way that Rogue works is um, they they automatically get, I think it's something from a subclass, or it might just be Thief actually, um, that lets you get advantage when there's just an ally within five feet of... That is a feature um, you can eventually you know I mean? get, yeah. I think they might have just made that like just standard for Rogues. If not. Oh, is it not? No. Um, with stealth attack, what I've been able to do so far with the range attack is that I have to be stealth for it. But when I hover over it, whether it's range or melee, what it explicitly says is you have to have advantage to be able to activate that. Right. So, but just then I didn't have the resources to do it anyways, and it didn't say why specifically. So it might just be that I need to be behind, or it might not make any difference. I don't know. But it basically it just might be worth trying to give me the uh oh you're in some dialogue tommy Gnomes. even though it's on my ass of slavers. oh hey there's some drow <laughs> look there's some drow in the background definitely didn't see what we did do, 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 do. <laughs> i will take care of the lives who took yours not um hey there's a book fables favoring cheerful deep gnome I'm not going to read it at all, but... Okay, no bonuses. Um... Do we okay. want to take a long rest? Bro. <laughs> Tell me every, short rest first. Every, every five minutes with this guy. I don't have to, but look at our health. 
Yeah, short let's rest. use short rest first. We are out of short rests. Go ahead and yeah. use a short rest right now. Alright. I thought we, um... Let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a short rest. Yeah, Bro, I don't like your tone. We can long rest if you want. I mean, I just don't know if we will survive the next combat with this. Whatever it is. We can try, but I don't see why we... Um... How are people doing for health potions? Because I've got a fair few still. Got six? Yeah, I've got four normal and two greater. I've got five normal and one greater. I got two normal and maybe some greater. I'm not sure. My inventory's a mess. You can sort your inventory at the top. Uh, next to the search bar, there is a sort by, which can allow you to sort it by type and what have you. And then there's also a search bar. So. You have no excuse. Sort out your inventory, uh, boy. Uh, let's have a look. I just have two normal. So <laughs> should, do, do we want to start using those more often, or should we just do a long rest? I mean, I, uh, use, I them do use them often. That's why I've only got two. Yeah, I usually try and save them for in combat. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, I don't know, like... It doesn't matter gameplay wise, and when Sam is out of spells, I think it's totally fine to do it. But it's just like what we did essentially was walk off the boat, walk around this dock, and now we're taking another long rest sort of thing. I am pretty sure the game is intended to be played like that, though, because of the difficulty well, of the game. D and D ain't, but let's just do a long rest. I mean, we don't have to speak to everyone every single time. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm going to talk to Shadowheart every single time, let's be real. No. no. I mean, realistically, we don't have to do it unless they have a uh, exclamation mark over their head. There is definitely... Sometimes been... things you get yeah, um, the... other things to talk about, but... The, the no. exclamation mark is like new plot stuff, usually. I'm in a conversation. Oh. Of course, he's the one in it. A faint <laughs> voice echoes in your mind. Your head still tingles with his anger and fear. Okay. Yeah, I have All a right. feeling other people should talk more because most things that trigger currently are for Tommy. <laughs> I have something to ask. I have a feeling those two things are connected. Still Does nothing new with I also... Does anyone have any uh, magic items to give to Gale because he's hungry? Yeah, I'm probably got some. Anything. I have magic items. Full stop. I've got so, things I don't need. But I don't like Gale, so... Pretty I'm just curious to see if we, like, That's help him go. enough if we get a quest succeeded and get XP or anything. Finish. That's the only reason I want to help him. Darren is happy again. What if he just sucks out Gale and Gale's like, damn, it must be my fucking magic <laughs> hunger, man. <laughs> that is most gratifying to hear. May I? Yeah, I, I also was reading somewhere that one of the other reasons why it might be choosing Tommy is if Chob Tommy's choosing more Illithid dialogue options than other people. I haven't uh, been choosing Illithid options. Yeah, it was just I a theory that I saw on Reddit. Because people are trying, other people have had the same issue where, like, it seems to be like almost picking on one player, basically, yeah. and it's not always the host, but like, it isn't an R one. So, I love how. Oh, as you're deciding, it just looked like you were just looking at him as he held his hand out. <laughs> <laughs> Three artifacts is a positive glut of magic. Yet my hunger only grows. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. <laughs> I 
Go on, you're among friends. Might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Oh. I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Damn, you Dude's just, just fucking a goddess? God damn. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each Voice your lines. Body. I didn't say anything. Mind you and did. Soul. No, it was continue. Even so, I desired more. There were three dialogue no options and it selected number one. Oh, oh. That's I didn't have them. We never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Maybe. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. So, um, I sought to cross her boundaries. So I got a bunch of dialogue options, and I went to vote for number one, and maybe the game glitched and took that as you selecting number one, then, if you didn't even see them. Do you have them now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the dialogue basically, to be fair, fit with what you actually said, because you said you fucked a goddess, and one of the op the option I selected was you made love to a goddess. So, uh. I am now scared to vote. By the way, so I am not voting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it made a difference because it just didn't come up for me at all. It's just continue. But, but the dialogue was in response to an option that was selected, so I, what I'm wondering is whether I, like, saw it before you even got to see it and selected something, because I immediately saw one and it. Right? So. How exactly did you try to cross his boundaries? I tried to convince her. I counted. <clears throat> I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Yeah, I can vote. <laughs> I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates all together then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. Uh -huh. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Why do you have to crouch down in front of him for that? <laughs> 
And also, <laughs> I'm glad that Alex got a chuckle out of that. <laughs> Sam and Tommy are completely stone face serious. <laughs> Tommy, did you have a neck tattoo? Yeah, it's part of my face. Okay, because it just looks a lot like his kind of bits that he has, and I was wondering if it just suddenly appeared on you. Oh, no, I don't want to start eating artifacts too. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> well, then he has to go because we're sure as hell not feeding too. <laughs> How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, <coughs> I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. In this uh, Dwega compound in the Underdark. <laughs> If we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could, till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark it would be a hero again <laughs> but coarsely poetic enough in its justice i'm kind of coming around to liking gale yeah this is a pretty yeah, cool plot. Yeah. we've come this far together and we'll continue on together and this is how it will be that is a great relief oh a great relief indeed you truly are a soul that steals my own from all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Alright, I want to try something real quick. Yep. Not a dialogue thing, don't worry. Do you reckon, like, we'll, uh... <gasps> nice. <laughs> Do you reckon if we fed him, like, better items if it'll have any effect. Possibly. But do we want to? Like, I, I do I mean, now want to feed him magical items, but I'm not sure I have anything major I want to give him at the moment. I don't know. Like, the best item I have is the Drowned Longsword, but I kind of want to keep that. 
potentially start to use it again in the future. I mean, or the next part of a but I want to use that. Um, what what uh, color items did you give him, Top? Did you give him any blues? Greens. Yeah, so um, if we have a blue that no one wants, then I think we should do that. But unless he can take potions... No, I don't think so. Then, no, he can't. Then, yeah, I don't want to give him my blue, which is the Drow Sword. I doubt he'll be able to have books either. So. Yeah. Um. So I have that amulet of lost voices that we got from when we got withers that kind of seems a little bit pointless to have now seeing as you can do that anyway pete fair so should we maybe see if i can give that to him should we wait until the next time he needs it though because i think if we do it now it might have no effect because he's like back up to normal yeah yeah fair enough sounds good all right Anyone want to talk about talk to anyone else? No one's really talked to Will recently, so maybe Alex, if you wanted to start talking to someone, Will might be a good idea to talk to. Uh, well, I, I've, I'm talking to Astarian from now, so uh, I, I mean, I can take Will as well if you want. Well, yeah, so, go talk to Will. Yeah, so me yeah, and Tommy but... are kind of sharing Lazel. Um, then Starion, you're talking to. But yes, I'm fine with you talking to Will. I'm just, hold cool. on, I'm just trying to do the map here. It makes sense you having a star in with him being a vampire. He probably actually. Do you mind if I talk to the, Will um... just because Tommy yeah. seems to be mostly taking the lead with Gale? Is that fair to say? Yeah. So then that would mean that each of us has one, and then uh, he's talking to fucking Shadowheart. That drow is <laughs> going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though not necessarily. Yeah, that's fair, especially because. Uh... I'll have the Dark Urge things as well, so... Yeah, okay. So yeah, I... It just means that I have one to myself, if Tommy and I kind of sharing Lazel. Alright. This true soul near stuck behind a rock for me, is he? <clears throat> Forgive me if I'm in no hurry to go digging him out. Okay, so I need to catch up, so... No one bother to uh, listen in, I'm not going to bother voicing this. I'm just going to skip through it, because I think Alex initially did all this stuff with Will. Yeah. I think... Um... Yeah, uh, I can't remember exactly what he said, so you might just want to look at the dialogue history, just to... Uh, oh, it, it played one. for me when I joined. It's fine. Oh, right, okay. Um... We probably should, if only for the gnome's sakes. Gods, really? Oh, saving a drow, I can understand, but saving gnomes? But if you insist on being a hero, I won't get in your way. Just don't expect me to help, either. The oh, fuck? Why is he racist against gnomes? Why does nobody like gnomes? My man. <laughs> um, I hate to say this because it will imply that she likes him more, but Tommy, Lazelle didn't have anything to talk about the drow when I talked to her. Would you want to see whether she has anything to say about the drow? <laughs> Give it a go. I doubt it, though. Yeah, it's just every other companion has something well, to say about Why am I talking to Scratch? What the fuck? Also, we should probably try speak with animals with Scratch at some point. Oh, yeah, I, I, I did, um while we're waiting for you to load into the game, it just oh. said... He basically just said, um... I, th I think I said, I'm sorry, what happened to your master? And he was like, yeah, it sucked, but I'm glad I have you. And oh, then nice. I pet him, and that was it, so... Hey, good Can news, everyone. Good, good news. She doesn't like hmm? him more than me. <laughs> have you talked to Scratch yet with the collar? I, I couldn't do anything with it. And I can't, like, give it to him. Alright, well, sleepy time. Alright, that was actually a worthwhile uh, long rest, though, because they had stuff to t say about the drow, and then we yeah. also progressed the stuff we gave. Dark, urge, dark, urge, dark, urge, dark. Next time on Baldur's Gate 3. Get fun. I hear combat already. Excellent. Right, sure, <laughs> in combat. <laughs>
All right, well, we killing. <laughs> <as well. laughs>